Hey everyone, this is Manly Bandit Zero, and welcome to the Downfall Remake. Downfall is a horror adventure game from the creators of the Can Lady, where you should play as a man named Joe as he searches for his wife in a horrific place. So what do you think, Joe? I think... it's bullshit. But that voice war, it was honest to God truth. Sure he did. He's a big fat liar. He's not. He heard his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. Gangster, my ass. He works in the second-hand furniture store. Whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. So this time around, the game starts us right off. There's no menu or anything. Which is interesting. And we're playing the prologue. And this is a flashback that wasn't revealed in the original until much later in the game, so... It looks like we're gonna find out the... Source of Joe's uh, biggest grief in his life very early. Nothing down this way, so let's go down the other. I don't like the kids' voices. I feel like the voice acting is a little bit funny. In a bad way with them. It's hard to get good kid voice acting, so I'll forgive them. I'll see with the F9 key. Hi, I'm Joe. Wow, she's pretty. Hi, nice day. Looks like to be the prettiest girl in town, and if I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. You know, uh, you know, I'm just gonna start off. If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. Do you That's really real hip. think cats have nine lives? They do. I know, because I've got the cat lady. Sure. I like cats. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black. Like a devil. Let's see. Do you live around here? Do you live around here? No. Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. You are American? Cool. Yes, I'm from the good old USA. Where are you from? Sweden. But you're not blonde. So? I just... Never mind. Don't stereotype sweets. What are you sweets. doing in England? I came with my mom. She got offered a job, and we stayed. And your dad? He didn't. Uh... Should we dodge it, or should we just say sorry? Um... Should at least say sorry, then move the same to subject. Sorry about your dad. Don't be. You can fuck off. Oh, okay, well, that's alright then. Why are you sitting here? My mom's inside. Eating. And she left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not hungry. 
This is gonna be his future wife. They're foreshadowing a lot of things in the story really early on. Wow. Nice flowers. Yeah. But I prefer red ones. Why? No reason. I just like red. Don't trust the ice cream truck. He's back. Who? Brady, the ice cream guy. Do you have ice cream in Sweden? Do you have brains in America? No. I know the place where cats go to die. Yeah? It's just down the road. A cat cemetery? Not quite. It's just the backyard with some rubbish bins. But the cats are really go there to die. They're old or sick. It's really weird. I cats and dogs you. actually do do that. But I should probably wait for my mom. About that cat place. Yeah? There's some nice red flowers not far from there. There are some nice red flowers not far from there. But I don't even know you. I'm Joe. Okay. And you? My name is Ivy. Come on then, Ivy. You don't want to sit here all day, do you? Let's do something fun! Okay. And so begins our downfall. Ready? Let's go. Come on, catch on up. Quick slave slots, one for you using F1, F4. Okay, flowers. She said she likes red flowers. I don't want to look like a. Okay. Maybe she's the type that doesn't like, like to pick them. Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me pick some for you. No, let them grow. Yeah. They're beautiful as they are. You're right. You're right. It would be like killing them or something. Exactly. And this way, maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Got ya. I don't think you actually kill a flower by picking it. Black cat. Is this it? Yep. But it's just one cat. And it's not even dead. Zombie cat. I guess no cats died I today. I guess no cats died today. That well, they all had some spare lives left. This one looks like he's on his last one. Huh. You don't really like cats, do you? This is more in character for Joe. Not that much. I knew it. I don't hate them. But they're so cool. Look. He likes you. Aww, you're such a lovely pussycat. Your turn. Huh? Come closer and stroke his head. He's gonna Do scratch I me. Have to? Yes. Why? Because. What if it is a zombie cat? Oh, See? okay. He likes you too. Wow. Cats never really let me touch them. It's nice, isn't it? It makes you... It makes you fall in love. I was wanting to give you an ice it's cream truck. Brady. Come on, let's get some ice cream.
Alright. Freddy's such a nice guy. He's my dad's friend, which means free ice cream. So we're not really buying, are we? Hey, Freddy. Hey, little buddy. What can I do you for? Hmm. What'd she like? Raspberry Ripple hey, sounds raspberry good. Raspberry Ripple, please. A Raspberry Ripple coming up. And what can I get for your little lady friend? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. I don't want any. Let's respect her feelings and ask why not. No, actually, it might be intruding. Uh, whatever. Why not? Because... No. Just... No. It's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. I... I really shouldn't. Thanks for the offer, but... I can't. She has an eating disorder. Don't you like ice cream? Don't you like ice cream? I do. But... She'll have the same as me. I said no, and no means no. There's like no option not to buy ice cream. You should probably go after her, dude. Ice cream man's like, damn, bro. You washed out. Go. Let's just forget about it, or it's okay, are we good? It's okay, are we good? We're good. Fist bump. Fist bump for friendship. I found it. Really? Yes. It's right where he said it was. But I kind of need your help. It's stuck under this thing. What are you talking about? He thinks there's a suitcase of money hidden on this building site. I know it's there. Every Monday they leave it there and someone picks it up the next day. Wow. Really? You don't believe him, do you? Who knows? It could be true. It's drugs money. And it's just sitting there, waiting for us. I mean, this does actually happen in real life, but still, this is kind of dangerous. How did you even get in there? There's a hole in the fence. Come on, I'll show you. I almost got it. I can't do it on my own. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. Okay, lead the way, bro. Okay. Lead the way, bro. Yay! Just remember, it's a building site. I don't want you to touch anything. I won't. I'm gonna make a quick save at any time. No. It's there. Where? This way. This? See the big X? Um, how does that determine that's drug money? This could mean anything, yeah. This could mean anything. Yeah, but we could at least check. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but it's too heavy. And you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. Push? You need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find something. Looks like I'm going to move my hand. 
This is like another little mini tutorial to uh Hey, I think I found what we need. Find out how to do basic game adventure uh, mechanics. Simon Moore. Didn't think it would be so easy. Let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. Come on, leave. Come on. Bro. Come on, Robbie. There's no money, bro. No. Just be commanding. I said come here right now. To be a chicken like you? No way. I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but this thing's got to be worth something, right? Don't even think about it. I'm going to sell it. Gary, from the shop, he's always looking for stuff like this. Don't do this to me, huh? Uh, you know, this is... This is really the most true thing right here. Leave it alone, you dipshit! Do you think we care? Welcome to Downfall. An explosive beginning. Yeah, in the original, you didn't really see that store until like halfway through the game. And it was a lot different. I was in my 20s when we met again. Straight away. I knew it was her. That same smile. Those same emerald eyes. She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. I never talked about Robbie. And neither did she. We were happy together. Then our luck ran out and the cracks started to show. But I knew how to fix it.
Well, here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, Welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? Let's see. Let's just go of this one. So, you're still not talking to me? Great. I can't say I'm surprised. This is so very much like... you. Can we at least try? Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? I don't want to look like an idiot again. Especially since I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say fucking nothing. What have I done and whatever I'm doing, I'm sorry. I don't think he uh, quite knows what he did. Whatever I did. I'm... I really wish you'd tell me what's wrong. Look, that's interesting. He doesn't say sorry. He's about to and then he switches over. That's a very betraying thing. What have I done? We were driving. And then you went to sleep for a while. And... Really? What the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. I give up. Let's book us in. There's gotta be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? This storm is gonna be huge. A storm is coming. Well, where are you going, honey? Okay, you know, whatever. Just ignore me like you always do. Nobody here. It's hardly surprising this time of the night. Hello? Is anybody there? <sighs> no. Check the telephone, maybe? Nothing unusual about it. I don't know who I would call. Ghostbusters! No, not really. We had a black cat once. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. She already does. Teacup the Tea Master. There are fridge magnets advertising Quiet Haven Hotel. I'll take one. Ivy likes collecting them. Ivy? Where are you going? That's gonna be completely useless. Devil came through here. What? What? What is that even supposed to mean? We are not alone, Joe. They are watching us. Who? These bad people. They live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. What the hell are you talking about? This one's really past. Well, this is not even passive-aggressive, that's just outright aggressive. What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? Um... Uh, well, pretty soon. No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will... God, that hurt my ears. I have gone now, 
Who's gone? I don't understand. The big fat flesh eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouth. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. This is crazy. But she's actually right. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I... I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. It's just a figurative storm. The real storm is all the bad events in the future. We'll be fine. Trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room. Get some sleep. And I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Can I go in the kitchen yet? No. That's for later. Uh, Hello. Anyone here? May I help you? Um, this place is crazy. But you know I'm staying here, so... Need a room. You'd like to get a room? I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. Uh... I guess we'll just use this one. Please ignore her. We'll take the room. Certainly. Oh, uh, well, but the room? I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? I mean, I don't think complaining is actually going to do anything. Let's see anyway. No, not really. Are there other hotels nearby? No. In a seaside town like this? I find that hard to believe. Believe what you like. I won't take much offense if you take your wife's side and call me a liar, too. But there's a storm coming, Joe. A big one. You'll be much safer in Quiet Haven tonight. Single or double bed. At least you won't get lost and drenched. Everyone's just slaying on the metaphors. Just a town of metaphors. Did you just call me Joe? How do you know my name? I heard your wife say it. I hope you don't mind. She did. Most certainly. Just before, she called me a fucking liar. Uh, that's fine, I guess. That's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. This is really... A really, like, completely remade remake. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed.
Hmm. I feel like being snarky and mean. We're not going to whisper and tiptoe around if that's what you mean. It's not my fault your walls are paper thin. But we're going straight to bed anyway, so... Yeah. I yeah. really don't think we'll disturb anyone. Good night. Let's go, Ivy. Can we use the lift? Out of order. Predictable. Oh, an elephant. It's the elephant in the room. The stairs have really funny perspectives. Kind of weird me out. Looks like the stairs are blocked with piles of old furniture. Is there a room? Or just a lounge, maybe? Alright, this is a really weird hotel room. If this is the room. It makes me feel like I'm being watched. No, it's a lounge. They've just reversed everything location-wise. It's just to be on the right. This time we go to the right, instead. Apparently I just disturbed the woman in this room. I tried my best to disturb her, didn't work out. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Persnickety. What is happening to me, Joe? I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. I can just be really mean. This is more in character, but uh, let's just be reasonable, because I'm a nice guy. You know, till I go crazy. You said some really weird things. It's like you completely lost it there, you know? But I'm okay now, am I? How the hell should I know? You could be on a whole new trip right now, as far as I know. I... I blacked out for a bit, I... I think. And I was dreaming. There was... There was a woman there, in the mirror. She was so fat and naked and covered in blood. <sighs> Let's go to bed. I'm sure you'll feel better in the morning. Wait, wait, wait. I'm losing my mind here. And you... You want me to fucking sleep! This is reality. I can't even imagine what my dreams would be like. But thanks for your input, Joe. Useful as ever. So we're just gonna stand here talking about it all night. Is that yep. what you want? I want to be... I want to be alone. Hmm. So if anyone who's seen Downfall or played it or anything, I have actually a playthrough of it. This this remake is actually giving a lot of the plot away very early on and foreshadowing and stuff, I've noticed. What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me, and yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine, let's do this. Where do I start? Uh, also, if you played the cat lady, I suppose you have a gist of like Joe's backstory too. 
so I feel like that's why they did a lot of rewriting. It's because they're trying to focus on the journey, not the end, per se. Well, the ending is going to be really big, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's just go for the list. I miss you. Even after a couple of hours. Oh, and this. I can smell your perfume. That thing you do when you laugh. I love it. But most of all, I guess, I... I wonder if they'll have, like, have me remember this and be like, so what did you say earlier? I'll just be like, oh god, I don't remember. I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. Can it be any other way? You miss me? <laughs> then why are you never with me when I need you? And I've stopped laughing a long time ago. There's nothing funny about any of this. Now finally, you want to be with me forever. I know. I've got a ring that says just that. But I don't remember where I put. Maybe I lost it. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday. It's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it. So we can both be free. Uh, this thing is actually probably done. From a realistic standpoint, this marriage is done. But, I'm gonna try to be in character in this question, I think. Because I don't think he would bail out. I still love you. No, that's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us, it's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m., don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. Damn, that's depressing as hell. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven. 